Okay, here's a quick video through the dot product um, as proof of why it works. And in the notes, what I went through was um, using the cosine rule. And we're going to do the cosine rule, but with vectors particularly. So I've got two vectors, A and B, and I'm going to do the components as of each bit as AX, AY. So this vector is AX, AY. Uh, into three dimensions, we'd have AZ as part of it. So that's vector A. Vector B, another BX, and a BY. And the vector across difference across the top here, you wouldn't call it X. What you'd say is it's negative A plus B. So this is minus A plus B, which is a vector BX minus AX and BY minus AY. And this is what we have called the vector C. So what we're going to look at is use the cosine rule and convert it into vector form. So we've got C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2BC cos of the angle opposite C. So this is normally called angle C, opposite a side called C. So that's a capital C. Turn it into a vector form. So this is the modulus of C squared. Is the modulus of A squared plus the modulus of B squared minus two times the modulus of B, modulus of C, and times the cos of A, or cos of the angle C, sorry. Now these two I'm not too worried about because they use actually one that can our division part. It's the C part that becomes important. So C is this vector BX minus AX. So to calculate the modulus of C squared, okay, so we're going to look at the how do we calculate the modulus of this algebraically. So this part becomes the B in the x direction, its horizontal component squared, plus y part squared, and we do the y part by by minus a y, or y all squared. If this, this was in three dimensions, you'd have a, a b z a z term as well. Multiply these bits out and we get uh, bx squared minus 2axb x plus ax squared plus uh, the, uh, the, the, the y parts, the by squared minus 2ayby plus uh, ay squared. And if we take, collect these terms into groups, what we have is we have the AX squared bit plus the AY squared bit, and we would have the AZ. This is actually the modulus of A all squared, and we'd have the BY and B, the B parts, BX squared plus BY squared. So from there, from there. And that gives me the modulus of B all squared. And we also have a minus 2AX BX and a minus 2AY BY. Now this part, if you look at it, is the minus 2. The modulus, that should be A over there, sorry. The modulus uh, over x and y. So what we're left with is 
if I you put these parts in, we've now got a squared and we've got minus 2ay plus y. And you rearrange that to give us, in the original form, we've got modulus of a squared plus modulus of b all squared minus 2 times ax bx plus ay by. And what we have over the right hand side is the a part plus the b part, so they cancel, and we get minus 2 the modulus of b times the modulus of a times the cos of c. And if we cancel out the bits that should still around, cancel the twos, the minus twos, what we actually get is cos of the angle between them is equal to the ax bx plus ay by all divided by the size of a times the size of b. And this ax bx ay by is the dot product of a times b. The x components multiplied by x components, y components multiplied by y components. And that's how that can actually be shown to be proved. Okay, that's the function.